All right, guys, we are trying something else, okay? So I know a lot of people are running Poison and Landslide combo. That's a really strong combo, but it's not going to hit crazy like this build. I've been just having some fun, and, and I wanted to try something else, and I started just recently kind of doing some legendary farming. I got a couple items that don't help too much, but, but will help pretty much any build. I don't know why this guy's still spinning. That, he's been always spinning. I actually came in here to swap these gems, but we have a Pulverize combo. Uh, build because I have not really been getting any earth uh, affixes So the only one that's really helpful is this earth 50% slow the 50% is a good good number I think it's the max that uh, you get from this. Uh, we also got one for hurricane um, And then we got blood howl This is a really strong affix. It helps a lot uh, Especially for a shava. So you definitely want to have this if possible um, as well as the poison for a shava possibly uh, if you want to help the people around you, uh, you'll get a lot more damage uh, with that poison and that poison skill, the 30%. Um, and here we got a skill that we can't use right now. And same with this, we're not really using this. Um, it, all we get from this is turning into a werewolf. We're not poisoning, so we're not immobilizing anyone. Doesn't really help us too much. So a lot of this damage can be done without many legendaries. The only ones that really help with doing the high damage is something like this, where you get increased damage with the barrier, um, as well as this uh, adding 30% to your next hit. So I'm going to cover them again uh, in a second, but uh, here are the skills. So since I didn't get any earth modifiers, um, I know there's one when you get fortified, you get extra earth ranks. Uh, I didn't get that, obviously. So here is kind of what I have right now. We got Storm Strike, and we got the Fierce Storm Strike for those vulnerable uh, opportunities. That helps us hit even higher and then our main damage dealer is pulverize so we're going to max that out um here i'm going with the 20 percent reduced damage so this is, makes this very tanky if you want to go more damage you can always stun um you know help cc and do other things like that we're going to take three in predatory instinct for that extra six percent crit chance because um you know we're always going to be in melee range this is a big melee aoe monster uh we're gonna take earthen bulwark we want that barrier because of our one item which will help us hit higher um this is actually gonna hit almost 50 percent higher just because we have a barrier and we might as well use the actual effects um fortify is also very important for this because overpower damage is modified with fortify so once you get fortify uh, it'll help you hit those overpowered hits we're gonna take blood howl due to that one item as well uh this one right here to increase our crit chance then we're going to come back here. We got debilitating roar. We could take it out um, because we do have some fortify, but you know, if you stack them, I think it will help you even hit higher. Um, also, it helps you be super, super tanky. So uh, you got you got earthen bulwark here as well, 45% absorption. And then on top of that, you can do a 70% damage redu reduction. So a shava will barely hurt you. You get fortify, so you get more damage. And then you get a heal as well. Uh, you can also do slow just for more CC if you want. But we're also taking Hurricane, which not only does good AoE, it's going to get 50% increased damage per second based on my item that I got. And on top of that, we are slowing everyone. So everyone in the Hurricane is going to be slowed. So that will help us provide CC and, uh, you know, potentially more damage. And I also have more damage mitigation here with the 20% less damage. So this this build is super tanky, but also hits crazy damage. And if you want to do slightly more DPS, you can do this right here. This is definitely a good move. So that's pretty much it uh, for this. So let's give this a try. Uh, we do have the crit strike damage to the crowd control enemies. So that's the slowed enemies, um, which probably works pretty well. But uh, let's just see how much the rubies help. So we do have... 46% damage. This thing is really important for high hits, especially when you have that barrier up. So you're really tanky and strong. Here you get a little bit of health. This one, Grizzly Rage, not even useful. Can't use that in the Service Slam. Uh, debilitating Roar, we don't even need this really either. It doesn't do much because we're not really poisoning in this build. But I just threw it on anyways because I have that FX, but it's not going to do much for me. Uh, but it does give us fortification, so that's cool. We'll take it. Helmet is earth damage. We're not using that. So we got a necklace with hurricane damage. So you know what? We figured we'll use some hurricane. This effect actually gives us some AOE passive damage. And you can have a slow on hurricane, which helps with other damage for crowd controlled enemies. So this one's really good for also hitting really high. Um, you got to use three basic attacks and then boom, 30% extra damage on your core skill. So in this case, it's going to be pulverized, but it could be used for landslide or any other build too. This next one is a really good support and damage modifier. It's 5% extra crit chance as well as giving 5% crit chance to everyone else in your area. And you're also going to heal everyone because Blood Hell now affects everyone in the area. 
So I'll put one point of that. Okay, here's some samples of the build, but look at this AoE damage. Like, boom, 700, 800s, and easy thousands constantly. So here I was trying to showcase those max hits, so pretty much I can hit a 2000 with this build. Um, so I'm just giving some time. We have the 12 pulverized stacks, we have the 30 on the ring affix, so we're just waiting for the cooldown so that we can get that full damage. Um, wanted that barrier up as well as that blood howl for that extra crit chance. Um, and the hurricane also adds a slow, which is CC, uh, which will add damage based on the gem in my weapon. So we got our cooldowns up and then we pop everything in order to hit max damage and we're hitting thousands AOE on everyone and we're able to hit even way more on elites that have more health. I also make sure to hit the elites with my basic attacks so that I can get a vulnerable stack on them and then once they're vulnerable then I go for that combo. This is so fun is that pulverize gives you a guaranteed overpowered hit every time you get those 12 stacks so it makes it so easy to hit 1600s, 2000s and it's so fun to see that. The good thing about this build is that it's actually super tanky as well. You have multiple fortifications and a barrier. Uh, obviously you can alternate barrier as well as the roar. And the roar drops 70% of the enemy damage and barrier obviously pretty much makes you invincible while you have it. So this thing is a beast, you won't die at a shava, and you still do a ton of damage.